Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Question 79. Where conductors are run in parallel, the equipment grounding conductor must be installed with each parallel conductor set and it is not required to be larger than the circuit conductors. Is this true or false? Okay, this is one of those things with, you know, with the five years of experience you should know the answer to. Of course, you know, with this we're going to be able to look up everything in the test. This one is harder to look up and many true false ones are the easier ones. This one gets a little bit tricky. You know, with something like this, I'm glad I know the answer to it and I can just answer it and go. What would what are we going to look up for our keywords? We can think conductors or equipment grounding uh, I'm going to go here now with this one conductors and I'm going to look for parallel when I look underneath conductors so here we are in conductors and under the subheading we have paralleled we're looking for grounding conductors and we have a lot of numbers here but grounding is in section 250 and it's these first three numbers that have 250 so those are the ones we're going to be concerned with immediately I like this section 250.30 A8B that's very specific I might nail the answer right there instead of having to just to scroll down like we've had to before now I'm also going to take 250.102 C and 250.122 F We'll make note of those numbers and in case we need to. But let's go to this first uh, 250.30A8B. Okay, so we had to get to 250.30A8B. So here we are at 8, grounded conductor, and down at B, it says parallel conductors. So let's go down a little bit and see the whole thing about that. If we read this, where the derived phase conductors are installed in parallel, the size of the grounded conductor shall be based on the total circular mill area of the parallel conductors as indicated in this section. And then it goes on. It doesn't really answer our question. It does kind of talk about the size of it and it's based on the sizes of the other wires. Now we have a fine print note, C310.4, for grounded conductors conduct connected in parallel we may need to save that and look at that when we're done with our other sections let's move on right now to 250.102 C which was uh, the uh, next choice in the index so here we are at 250.102 C and it says size equipment bonding jumper on supply side of service now remember we have to do size because the question mentions something about not larger than it's not required to be larger than so we have to get the size or compare it to something and so it's talking about as okay, case size is shown in a certain table here but it doesn't really again give us what we're looking for but there's one thing here I want to point out if you read this through is saying a bonding jumper and, th and this is for another question but since we're here I'm going to point it out this might show up on an exam somewhere bonding jumper shall have an area not less than twelve and a half percent of the area of the largest phase conductor except that where the phase conductors and the bonding jumper are of different materials you might be asked of an area having not less than on that and that number twelve and a half is one to keep in mind if you're in a situation you know on a test where you're gonna do like a, a best guess and come back to it later so that's the only reason I point that out right now since since that twelve and a half jumped off the page at me our third choice was 250.122F let's go there so here we are 250.122F and it says conductors in parallel it's nice to see that if we read the first paragraph where conductors are run in parallel in multiple raceways or cables as permitted in 310.4 the equipment grounding conductors where used shall be run in parallel in each raceway or cable okay that's the first part of our question but the second one is is it required to be larger than uh, the circuit conductors 
Let's continue. Each parallel equipment grounding conductor shall be sized on the basis of the ampere rating of the overcurrent device protecting the circuit conductors in the raceway or cable in accordance with table 250.122. Okay, so let's go look at this table and see what we can find out about sizing. Okay, so table 250.122, minimum size equipment grounding conductors for grounding raceway and equipment. Let's look at something here. For 30 amps, 40 amps, and 60 amps, it's saying that a 10 gauge copper is an acceptable wire to be used with those. If we, if we start out here with these, okay, the wire is getting bigger and bigger, bigger, and then it stays the same size for the next three ampere numbers on the table, even though the ampere numbers get bigger. This is saying the grounding conductor can stay the same size at certain times when a bigger load is applied to it. Here's another thing that you have to know, and you can't reference every table every time but something about current loads okay with your 10 gauge you could max it out at 40 amps but by the time you're at 60 amps you really need to have an 8 gauge wire and for 100 you know I can't remember if it's 6 or 4 off the top of my head okay so that's to carry it but the ground is different and remember when we were at the other uh, section and I mentioned that 12 and a half percent it can't be smaller than 12.5% of the largest conductor in the phasing group. So that's kind of saying that the ground doesn't have to be as large or larger than the largest conductor. Let's go and take a look at our question now. Okay, so we have conductors that are run in parallel. The equipment grounded conductor must be installed with each parallel conductor set. Okay, that part is true. We saw that in the code in 250.122F. It also said it had to be sized according to table 250.122. And we've seen from that table, and even from the previous reference in 250.102C, that it was not required to be larger than the circuit conductors. Both of these are satisfied. So true is the answer to this question for our examination. Thank you for watching this video please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.